Hi, welcome to another episode of the Hardscape Handyman. In this episode, I'm going to explain what we did around this job in Whittier. We did a paver, vinyl fence, uh, grass, plants, kind of a backyard remodel. So it jumps to, that was the before of the yard, and uh, we jumped right first into the vinyl fence. That right vinyl fence already got put up. Here is the left side completed and um, demol demolitioned all the old fence, loaded that up in the trailer, hauled it off. This was filmed in a segment in a couple of days. Right here, we formed up this concrete curb to pour underneath the fence to prevent your pet or any pet, the owner's pet from coming out, going in, neighbor's pets. There I am in the red, Anthony there, tag teaming the cement concrete for the curb. Xavier over there, finishing it. There's one part of it done. We poured this curb along the entire perimeter of the vinyl fence. That middle fence was already existing. We came in, did the two sides. Xavier there edging it up, finishing it up, giving it a nice look. So after the curb was done, we called in a bobcat and excavated some grass out of the rear of the backyard because the elevation wasn't quite level. So there I am driving the bobcat, loading it up in our trailer. I believe Jonathan was filming at this point. We had quite a few loads. So that's what the Bobcat did. We put up some string lines and got ready for a paver planner border that we laid. Anthony there digging it up. String lines already laid out. Xavier over there probably finishing up the other lines on the other side. It was real quick, but you also could see the sprinkler lines we, we had uh, already set out and added in. So the video jumps to the complete paver border. We moved on, broke out some concrete here. Didn't get much clips of that. Most of that was a lot of work and focused on the concrete breakage. Also planted this post right here, uh, set some gas and electrical lines underneath the entire future paver floor, as you will see, for a possible future barbecue some lights there i am putting a connecting a sprinkler valve some pipe there for a future valve this planner was an add-on on the side of the house neighbor walkway so right here you can see the Paver border was done along the backyard, also bordered up on the for the inlay of the paver floor near the house. Planner done, curb poured for that section of the garage neighbor. Mexican pebbles over here, Mexican pebble planner. Steps, we weren't gonna leave the old concrete. We remodeled them into a brick capped bullnose stoned step. Anthony and Jonathan there handling the cuts. I was handling the brick lay. Here you can see the stone partially done for the steps of the backyard door. Xavier there loading up another pallet. Forget how many pallets we had, but we had to do this a couple of times. A lot of pavers, one by one set all the way, straight lined, heron boned to get this floor done. Here we completed the step section. We always start off with the most valuable section for the owner to be able to walk back and forth and not have to walk through gravel or base or trip to keep it safe. Jonathan here handling the sprinkler lines for the back planner. So here you see Xavier and Anthony Packing it, packing down the base, getting it ready for 
the paver inlay border done. We left that section of the paver border inlay open for wheelbarrowing. It was all gonna get locked in with the paver border inlay along with the sand and the surrounding pavers. Here Xavier's grading the sand, getting it ready for the paver lay. Hot, it was hot out there. 90 to 100 days. So here's a partial section done of the paver floor. We did this all the way up. Xavier compacting the far side of the paver floor. Anthony and Jonathan handling the cuts. I was setting them. So right here, it jumps to just about done. You can see the red chips, new plants along the backyard. Mexican pebbles with new plants. And here you get a peek at the paver floor finished. Not yet ready for washing. So what you saw in the other clip was uh, we're cutting up some grass patches to regrow the grass. Right here we transplanted the valves closer to an easier access point. Anthony here spraying them up, giving them a nice white finish. The glue for PVC sprinkler lines is blue. We don't leave that on there. We, we like it nice and white. You'll see a one he already painted. Jonathan here cutting up the plugs for the grass. Here you go, Anthony sprayed this one up nice and clean. Plants, new planter. You can see some red chips on the ground. Those will get blown away. So before we go to the final end result, I wanted to film the front yard. This front yard we had done previously months back. We did the stone here, the brick steps with the stone steps and the brick patio, all this stone here you see we did. This paver floor hair and bone pattern garage entryway also done by the hardscape handyman. You can see the stone trail along the front of the house. These are really large stones, up to 200 pounds each, set out for a walkway, new plants, drought-friendly landscaping. This is artificial grass right here. We got that in for the first half of this job on the front yard remodel. Don't have any before pics of it. Didn't start doing this till quite recently, filming our jobs, posting them up. So here we go, the end result of the backyard remodel, new planner, pavers, wash down, vinyl fence sides, backyard post with gas and electrical, plugs in the grass, that's all gonna green up. I should take a trip down there and get some pictures of the grass and the way it is now. There's the new step, beautiful. Paver floor. You can still see some sand there that, that all washed off. This was the washing day. This all got backfilled. New valve sprayed clean. Easily accessible. New plants. Here's some before and afters. A lot more beautiful. There's the old fence. Wood rotted, cleaned up, bright, popped, bordered up with pavers. The color there just a lot more pleasing to the eye. You can see there they had a black divider for the dirt, grass, and the planter. Now it's a paver, border, new vinyl fence behind it. There's the other fence, rotted, exchange for new vinyl. Very beautiful. And that grass is all green now. All that's gonna grow back. Here's the Mexican pebble planter that was existing. Xavier there pointing it out on day one. New Mexican pebble planter, bordered up with pavers. Here's the old step, just concrete. Exchanged for a new brick, stone, pavers. So all this can get done if, if you guys want this done, leave a message here on YouTube or Instagram, wherever you're watching.
Thank you for watching.